It's all too common for your photos to have imperfections. It used to require hours in the darkroom to change photos that are off-center, have crooked framing, or even come out too dark or too bright. Digital photography already makes this process easier, but Photo Impact has gone even further by creating two built-in wizards that make fixing your photos a snap. If you have a scanned image, you'll want to use the post-processing wizard, which is specially optimized for scanned images. Go to the Format menu and choose Post-Processing Wizard or just press F9. By following through each of its seven steps, it allows you to straighten, crop, focus, brighten, color balance, remove red eye, and even add a frame to your scanned images. However, in this tutorial, we'll be giving you a deeper look at the new Express Fix Wizard, which is optimized for photos from your digital camera. To open Express Fix, just go to the standard toolbar and select the Express Fix button. The Steps box offers you six separate improvements which you can make to your photos and which you can apply in whatever order you want. As you can see, you're provided with a before and after window to let you see right away what your changes will look like. Click on the lower right corner of the Express Fix window and drag it. In this way, you can increase the size of the dialog box. More importantly, your preview window is now much larger. Click on the Overall Exposure button. As with most of the six Express Fix steps, you're provided with a selection of easy presets for fixing the exposure of your image. Just click on any of the thumbnails to test which effect gives you the best exposure. If you want to undo any effect you've applied, just click on the Do Not Apply button. As with most of the Express Fix steps, you can fine-tune how you apply the exposure. Click on the Custom button, and now you have a much more accurate interface for adjusting your image. Click on any button to apply a filter. Again, if you want to undo the effect, just click on the Reset button. If the strength of the effect is too much or too little, you can adjust the degree to which each thumbnail button will apply the effect by dragging the thumbnail variation slider either up or down. Set the thumbnail variation button to 5. Click on the More Brightness button. Now click on the More Contrast button. To go to the next step in the Express Fix Wizard, click on the Subject Exposure button. This step lets you adjust either the subject or the background of your image separately. As with the previous step, you have the choice of clicking on the preset buttons or fine-tuning the effect. Click on the Custom button. Set the thumbnail variation to 15. Now click on the Less Backlight and More Flash buttons. Click on the Color Cast button to go to the next step. This step allows you to balance the colors in your image by adding a colored filter. Click on the Custom button. With the thumbnail variation at 30, click on the More Yellow button to add a bit of yellow to the image. Now click on the Color Saturation step. Sometimes the colors in a photo can be too strong or too weak. This step allows you to set just how strong the colors will be in your image. Click on the Custom button. With the thumbnail variation at 15, click on the button on the right side to increase the color saturation. Now click on the Focus step. Most people aren't aware that you can artificially make an out-of-focus image appear more clear. Again, click on the Custom button. Set the thumbnail variation to 1. Click on the Sharper Focus button one time to increase the focus slightly. Finally, click on the OK button to apply all of the changes to your image. One thing to remember about both the Post Processing Wizard and Express Fix is that most of these tools are available under the Format menu in the menu bar, as well as in the Easy Palette. If you want to further fine-tune the effects we've shown you, those are the places to look. The Transform tool allows you to manipulate an image or object so that it can rotate or change size. Using the available buttons on the Attribute toolbar, you can rotate an image, making it easy to straighten crooked photos. We'll show you how to rotate an image. Click on the Transform tool in the Tool Panel. For precise rotation, go to the Attribute bar. Since this picture is only slightly crooked, go to the Rotate by Degree area and set the rotation to 1 degree. Now click on the left button to rotate the image one degree counterclockwise. One of the simplest but most effective ways of improving your images is with cropping. Cropping is for when you want to trim the outer edges of an image to remove any unwanted areas. In a sense, changing how you frame your image. To crop your image, do the following. Click on the Crop tool located in the Tool panel. 
Now select an area on your image. You see that the crop tool covers the unwanted area with a semi-transparent shield to make it easier to see what your cropped image will look like. Adjust your crop area by dragging the corners or sides of the crop bounding box. Finally, click on the crop button to cut away the unwanted area. When you're using a digital still camera, you may often find that all or many of the photos have the same common problems. Instead of going through each photo and individually applying each one of these fixes, you can use the Quick Command panel to record your own Quick Command. As you remember from Chapter 4, the Quick Command can apply a whole series of changes all at once. Here's how you can record a Quick Command for later use. First, click on the Quick Command panel in the Panel Manager and select the Task tab. Click on the Task Menu Commands icon and select New. Enter the word Brighten to your Quick Command. Now, go to the Format menu and select Brightness and Contrast. Increase the Brightness and Contrast, then click OK. Now, go to the Format menu and select Hue and Saturation. Increase the Saturation level to 20, then click OK. Finally, go to the Quick Command panel and click Stop. You've now recorded a Quick Command that will apply both of these edits to your images with the click of a button. In this chapter, we've shown you how the Express Fix feature can give you a quick and easy fix to your digital camera photos, as well as how to transform and rotate your images. In the next chapter, we'll show you how to apply some special effects to your images.